Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Kuntosh from Internet Money, and I'm here for today's episode of Producer Series. I'm going to be doing Producer Ronnie J today. Um, if you listen to underground music, you probably would have known about him a couple years ago because um, he started, well, I first found out about him because he worked with Denzel Curry and um, a lot of other South Florida artists. Like right now, he's been working with XXXTentacion, um, Smoke Perp, Lil Pump, Ski Master Slump God, all those dudes from down there. So I have this beat um, that I made. It's inspired by Audi, by Smoke Perp. And I'm going to play it for you and I'm going to kind of break it down. I'm going to give you some insight into kind of how Ronnie J does his style and makes his beats. Ronnie J's style is very simple but effective. Um, a lot of his beats, I notice, like the melodies usually have um like four or five notes, and then I've heard beats by him that even lack a melody. Where um, <clears throat> it's pretty much like he samples like an atmospheric sound out of a VST and kind of flips it. Um, for this one, I kind of took a complex melody and. I grow speeded it and I did it a certain way to where it sounds like there's a lot going on, but it's still simple at the same time. So I'm going to play you this melody. Uh, I got it out of Electra X, by the way, the sound anyway. And um, I'm going to play it without gross beat and I'll play it with. <laughs> All right. Um, this arp in particular, it's very aggressive, but it's light at the same time. It's like an aggressive pluck, and um, Ronnie J uses sounds like that for the most part when it comes to the melodies in his beats. Um, I grow speeded it, put half speed on it, and then I turn it down just a little bit so you can kind of hear the original full speed melody kind of in the background, and it blends with it, so it sounds like more is going on. You can kind of hear the higher octave in the background because when you have speed stuff, it takes it down an octave as well as slowing it down. Um, as far as drums go, very simple. His Ronnie J's style is very drum oriented as well. Um, his 808s are usually super distorted. That's what he's known for, and um, his hats are usually linear, kind of like this. I'll play the hats by themselves. Super linear, nothing too crazy. A couple rolls here and there. Um, 808, it's distorted, very heavy. Um, I made this 808 myself a while ago with, uh, I think Fruity Fast Distortion and Isotope Trash. Um, this, this one is a custom of mine. It's going to be in my next drum kit coming out soon. That's what it sounds like. And then um doesn't use a he uses a snare sometimes, but uh he typically tends to use a clap. 
kind of like that. And then I kind of threw this chant right here for taste just to give it some feel. And with tempo, he usually sticks around usually in between, I'd say like 100 and 130 from what I've heard so far. I think Ultimate, though, by Denzel Curry is a bit faster than that. So, but um, yeah, he typically stays within that room. And that's kind of really all there is to it. Like, his style is just very simple. And it sounds like nothing I've ever heard before. But it works out very well. So if you guys have anything else you want to see from us, any other producers you want us to cover, please let us know. And we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching.